decide I can't go to the doctor's office and say you know what this pill ain't working give me some morphine <laughs> I, I can't I can't go to the x-ray and say you know what I don't want that spot of cancer on my kidney I need you to take that off uh, there, there's a court higher than me. Good God, y'all don't hear me. And the Bible says here, they come back telling Esther as though it's no big deal. Yeah, yeah. Then Mordecai told them to reply, do not imagine that you're in the king's palace and can escape this any more than the rest of the Jews. Don't think you're in a safe place. I had to stop for a minute because I realized God was talking. Yes, yes. He said, many of us have come out of what we're in, and we think we're in a safe place, uh -huh. so don't you touch me because you're contagious with your place. My, my. Some of us, after we've gone through, we forget what the affliction mm. felt like Come on now. Uh, because we're so far removed. Yes. 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 Can I talk about it? Yes. I can sympathize with my sister because I can remember the day remember. when they cut me out that truck. Good God Almighty. Right. I can remember yes. the day yes. when I sat in that chair and could not walk. Come on Can't now. you remember the day you went through your divorce? Yes. Can't you remember the day you buried your pastor, your yes. loved one? Yes. Your yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Well said, well said. Now that you've arrived, Esther. Mm. Now because you've got units waiting on you, and on, now on. because your come tether's on. been cut off, yes, and yes. now because you're in a place yes. that has hid you from your past. Yes. Now that you're in a place that you don't look like what you come no, from. No. Now that you're in a place, don't you think uh, for one moment that you get to escape uh, this very situation that we're in. Uh, the Bible says, uh, man who was born of a woman, his days are short-lived and full of trouble. And all that live godly shall be persecuted and shall live in turmoil. Don't you think because you don't have sackcloth and ashes on your head that you don't have to represent those that are going through? Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Many of us know our call. Yes. Many of us know what we're called to yes. and who called us. Uh, many of us know, have dreams and visions and aspirations. But there's some sitting in this room today that have no idea what God wants to do with them. My God, my God. Yes, yes. Frustration and disappointment. You were accepted, but I'm still waiting to be accepted. Mm. <sighs> yes, yes. Mordecai tells her, who knows whether you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. Why are you saved at this time? Why is it that God delivered you from the place you didn't want to be at? at this time? Why is it that you're at Pinnacle Crest at this time? Why is it that you're watching this sermon at this time? Why is it that you're among those people at this time? Why is it that it appears as though it doesn't seem to be no way, but I'm coming to you because you look like you know the way of escape? The Bible says do not ever hold up your testimony because it's by your testimony that we overcome. Yeah, it's yeah. by the blood of the lamb that the way is already yeah, made. Yeah. How dare you yeah. sit on the goodness yeah. of God yeah. when your goodness could release me yeah. into mine. Yeah. Yeah. I know the plans yeah. I have for you. What is it, what is it, Esther, that you would think at this time you were safe? All because you're not out here with us to receive the decree that belongs to you. Are you the righteous? Are you the one of faith? What makes you think that because it's not your time that it, you're not next? Yes. What, what is it that you're in here today pain free? But you have no idea what tomorrow holds. Yes, right. How dare you not pray and intercede for me? Because you can't feel my pain. I'm going through for you. You're in the palace because of me. You've been delivered. 
delivered? Because of me. We're going through because you have the way to get us out. I got to thinking about the woman with the issue of blood. Is this something making sense to you? I got to thinking about the woman with the issue of blood. And Jesus said, go and sin no more. It did not mean that she just went home, sat in a rocking chair, and just rocked. You ever ask God, why did you deliver me? Mm. Come on now. Why did why? you set me free? Why did you give me this man? Why am I still not single? Why is it that my bank account looks like this after it looked like that? You ever ask God, why is it that he delivered you? Why did he move you? Why did he take you away from that place? Why did he put you in a better place? Why did he start messing with you with dreams? Why is he now calling you to ministry? Why? Why is it now that you have more time? You thought it was a curse, but it was a blessing. Yes. I was talking to one of the ministers. I won't call his name, but he, his, his job abruptly ended. He went into early retirement, as he would say it. And as he goes into early retirement, he did not know God was going to keep his early retirement longer than he had planned to stay. But during that time, salvation hid him and his family. During that time, his visions and desires and dreams that he's had for 30 long years have started to manifest. Yes. What the devil meant for evil. Yes. God has made this for my good. Why am I being afflicted? <laughs> so that God's name could be glorified. Listen, I can go through as long as I know what the end is. Can I talk about it? I can suffer as long as I know that the suffering leads to a reward that's greater than what I'm going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A woman doesn't mind being pregnant wow. and going through labor because we know the end is a lifetime of joy. Because I'm on the mic, I'm going to say that kid that the children are listening. <laughs> huh? I can go through the pain if I know the pain is going to bring about a promise. Yes. Yeah. My Bible says all things work together for the good. Mordecai said, don't you get up there and get a big head. You've made queen off of my instructions. You're beautiful based upon the instructions I received from God to raise you. You're, you're going and making it out of this because of the instructions I gave your shepherd. You got the faith to fight that disease because you have the scripture down in you that knows how to fight the devil with the word. Yeah. 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 The Bible says that Esther then says to Mordecai, you go gather up all the Jews. You put them on a fast. You put them on no food, no eating. You put them on a prayer plan. And me and my staff are going to do the same thing. A plan comes together. A strategy comes together. Because she realized at that moment, I'm going through for you. How do you get that, Pastor? Thank you for asking as I come to my close. Because the Bible says she has to take a hard look at herself and say, now, I know it's not protocol for me to go to the king because he hasn't asked for me. And if I go uninvited, the outcome will be death. Mm. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah. Doesn't it feel like when you're going through that this thing is going to kill you? That's right. That's right. I can't take him another day. <laughs> I can't bear this another
for those that God wants to meet in. I'm not going to get to the text where I wanted to go this way. I feel leading of the Lord. God is saying, your pain and your suffering, your past, works for a far greater good for your present. Yes, yes. Well said, well said. You are so busy punishing yourself for your pain and your past. Mm. You can't hear what God's saying in the present. To set you up for your future. When I started weighing mm -hmm. my situation and my circumstance, I said, but if I accept where I am, See? that means the condition I was in before has to change. I was getting full pay. Now I'm on disability. Before I could work all the overtime they offered me mm -hmm. and didn't have time for him. Mm -hmm. That was it. Amen. Well said. Amen. How can I keep my promise to you when you don't even know what it is? Okay. Right? Have mercy. Mm. Who knows, Esther, that you didn't come here just to be beautiful, to satisfy a king, come on. that you were released from the hardships of your people. But maybe you're going through what you went through so you can deliver the ones that used to walk with you. He told Peter, he said, Peter, now that you've been strengthened, reach back and strengthen your brother. Now that I've made a way for you sisters, yeah. uh, reach back and help the other sisters. Yeah. They're trying to get what you have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Bible yeah. says yeah. Uh, you're not going through just to be going through. The end of this thing yeah. is far greater than its beginning. Yeah. 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 You're going through because I've got plans, plans. for you. They're good. Yeah. Mm. I'm not the devil. You suck. I don't have pain upon pain. My plan is that you be delivered. Yes. My plan is that you be healed. Uh, my plan is that you be set yes. free. Yes. 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 But I can't release you. And you still play mm. with the enemy. Mm. Wow, well said, Who well knows? Said. That you're going through is for me. Yeah. Who knows that what you're going through this very minute in this very hour has nothing to do with you, but it has all to do with the ones that are assigned to your life. Wow. Amen. I was going to take this somewhere this morning. He says, I want you to understand that the afflictions that you have you have more needs than you have resources. You have more wants and not enough help. You have more bills than you have money. You have a health condition mm -hmm. that just won't leave you alone. Mm -hmm. You have pain that won't quit. Mm -hmm. You have relationships that are always in need of being fixed. Mm -hmm. You want to go to work, mm -hmm. but you can't find it. You have children that you believe in God to save, yes. and it appears as though God has turned his head. My, my, my. Amen. I trust God, but I can't see how he could possibly deliver me from these afflictions. Romans says it like this. Oh, wretched man that I am, who can deliver me I love the message Bible. It says, I've tried everything and nothing helps. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I've taken the pain pills. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've went. You ever try to hide from God? I know y'all super uh, saved. Uh, 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 I'm going to let y'all know I know him. Got hurt in the church so bad, and I went home, and the Lord spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. And he said, daughter, I want to heal you. Because if I don't, you're going to bleed all over those that are yet waiting on a heal. My God, my God, my God. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. I'm yes. going to make you pay, you pay, you pay, you pay. I put my gifts on hold. Mm -hmm. 
Because I'm afraid if I use them, you'll abuse them like the last one did. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, come here. Come here. It's the bully on the playground. He bullies you long enough. Guess what you do? You start bullying others. Mm -hmm. Right? My marriage is a mess. So you let your husband do that? Ain't no way I'd let my husband do that. That's why you ain't married to him. I used to couldn't talk like that, <laughs> and then I got married. <laughs> it says, I've tried everything and nothing helps. I'm at the end of my rope. Anybody got a rope that you tied a knot at the end? Oh, my, my, my. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? As they're talking to God, God, aren't you going to deliver? Can you? My, my, my. The answer, thank God, thank God, is that Jesus Christ can and does. Yeah, he does. B.B. Winan sings a song. He promised me. Mm -hmm. He promised he would heal me. Um, he promised that he would deliver me. Yeah, yeah. God, you promised me. Yes, yes. He acted to set things right in his life of contradictions. Where I am to serve God with my whole heart. It's not my job to heal me. No. It's my job to serve him so he will deliver me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thank you, thank you. I got one amen. He says, but I'm pulled by the influence of sin to do something different. Can I talk to you about that for a minute? Sin satisfies the flesh. Yes, it does. But it frustrates your soul. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. yes. It feels good for a moment. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Ask anyone that takes medicine for pain. Come on, come on. It's good. It says take every six hours. Yes. And mm. after you wake up after the four, you got to hurt for the two to take it again. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. That band-aid, that shopping spree you went on. Come on, talk to it. It, it took care of that pain for a moment. Only for you to go and face it for a lifetime. Can I talk to you this morning? He says, sin keeps pulling me because I won't stay in the place where God can deliver me. Yes, Lord. My. Mm. He says, for this cause, uh, uh, we faint not. But through our outward man, though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. As long as my inward man yes. is renewed by God, I can face tomorrow. I can face yes. any yes. challenge yes. you throw yes. at me today. Yes. Why? Because the just yes. shall live shall by faith. Yes. Yes. Faith is that tangible substance. Mm. I can't afford to allow my afflictions to take my mind off of the hope of my expectation. Yes. Matter of fact, the more you afflict me, uh -huh. the more I want what God promised me. Yeah. 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 You increase the pain, yeah. I'm going to increase my praise. Yeah. You increase my afflictions, yeah. I'm going to increase my worship. Yeah. You want to increase my It's what I can't see. The promise of my future. The one that promised that he never, never. leave me. Never. Nor forsake me. The one that said, even though man said you're nothing without them. Uh -huh. God told me to tell you this morning, you're everything with him. Everything. Yes. Everything. Yes. Yes. So I'm not giving up. How can we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. Mm. On the inside is where God is making yes. us yes. a new life. Yes. Not a day goes by that he's not unfolding his grace. These hard times, I love it. Your Bible says these afflictions are but... A lot, these burdens are about a light affliction. Yeah. Wow. 
I love this Bible, the version that says, these hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times. I just got to make it through this storm. I just got to make it through this season because God told me this isn't where I'm going to live. This is where I'm passing through. He says, how do I know that? He said, because he's got a lavish celebration yes, yes. prepared for us. How do I know that? Because you're just saying, he's a good, good father. Yes, yes. Amen. There's far more than meets the eye. Things we see here today will be gone tomorrow. Gone. Yes. But the things we can't see now will last forever. Amen. Why? As we stand to our feet and close our eyes, I'm not going through for me. God just chose me yes. to go through for you. Yeah. When, when you look at what God has trusted you with, I, I'm going to trust you with this affliction. I'm going to trust you with this burden. I'm going to trust you with this pain. Uh, one, I heard a preacher say one time, Minister Aaron, he said, God has picked you out and is bragging on you. Hit him again with another. Hit him again with another. Hit him again with another. I like watching boxing, and I love it when they think that he's down for the count. And they hit him again, and he... <laughs> you thought this last one was going to take the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thought that you was going to agree with him and let it. <laughs> Come on now. Until you got some wins under your belts. Yes, yes. I got some yes. trophies and yes. I got some awards. And I remember the day they diagnosed me with this and they told me I wouldn't be here, but but I'm still here. They, I, I remember when they told me my marriage wouldn't last and yet it's still lasting. I, I remember when they told me there ain't no way that they'll stick with you through this. Come on, God come bless on. You. But he says to, but I'm still here. God said you're going through, but this one's not for you. Mm. Mm. You're going through. Right. Ooh, I'm going through for you. Right. Yeah, say that, say that. When you go through this week and something doesn't turn out your way, they say, I'm not going through for cats. I'm not going through, but I'm going through for you. Yeah. That you will get the victory yes. that yes. God promised us. Yes. As long as the outcome is what he promised me. Yes. 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 Every head bowed, every eye closed. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I offer this.